according to Chinese acupuncture, body has a biological clock. And according to that biological clock, energy is flowing through different, different organs at different, different times. The biological clock starts at 3 o'clock in the morning. Okay. 3 to 5 flows through lung, 5 to 7 through large intestine, 7 to 9 through stomach, 9 to 11 through spleen, and accordingly. Okay. So, you one should have a breakfast when the energy is flowing through stomach, that's between 7 to 9. Okay. And lunch between 1.30 to 3, uh, 1.30 to 2.30 rather. Okay. After sun changes the direction, in the afternoon, one should not take sour products like curd. Okay. In the evening, try and have dinner as early as possible. Because the biological clock is, you know, trying to prepare you to sleep. Preferably, you should have some rice in the evening. Because rice, this kind of carbohydrates leads, I mean, uh, so they're going to be stretched at own risk. This kind of carbohydrates um, releases a chemical called tryptophan. Tryptophan is a soporific. Soporific means it puts you to sleep. So in the night, if you take, you know, either leaves or, you know, rice or, you know, anything, preparation of carbohydrates, you know, which are not oily, okay, then, you know, you, once you release, you tend to sleep very peacefully in the night, okay. And on an average, you must take papain every day. Papain is a papain enzyme in the form of, you know, papaya, okay. And pectin and, pectin is a form of apple and bananas. Pectin is anti-aging. And lots of antioxidants like, Coriander, green chilies, capsicum, spring onions, and garlic, green garlics. If you take all those things, you know, there are, you know, your, 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 sub, your uh, complement is a nutrition supplement of antioxidants. And the walnuts in the morning, it resembles that of our brain, reduces the cholesterol, and gives us the best source of phosphorus for vegetarians.